to the blog. It's your host again, Rob with i25 Kia. So I've had the Nero for the entirety of the week. I learned more about the regenerative braking system and it's really a creative solution to not waste any energy in this vehicle. Because every time you hit your brakes, you're wasting energy, but that energy is dissipated in heat. It's made into friction from the brake pad. So what happens in regenerative braking is instead of hitting your brakes, it actually gets the motor up and running again and then conserves that energy and utilizes it when you need it most. It's really got me thinking about how much we waste as human beings. We are born to waste things, it's just in our nature, but this puppy puts nothing to waste. Speaking of puppy, you'll understand what I'm talking about in a second. I've got a couple places in mind that I want to show you that have creative solutions to avoiding waste. Let's go. Quickly, I'd like to mention how valuable the Evo E-Services is. I hate driving in Denver. That's why I don't come to Denver too often. But with the Evo E-Services, their navigation is just awesome. And especially if you're an owner of this Nero, because you can literally click the PHEV button and you have all these really cool things that give you a good idea of how you're driving and if you're being eco-efficient. But the coolest thing in the Nero is when you touch your EV range. This is gonna show you exactly the radius of where you can go. Well, I hope it's not too windy. I made it through the Denver traffic. Surprisingly, I survived. Thankfully, I was in the Nero because if I would've gotten in a wreck, I would've lived. But here we are at the Sunspot. Technically, I'm at the Denver Animal Shelter. They have the largest dog in all of Colorado. So there's your scale reference. So what's super awesome about this dog is because this is a creative solution to avoiding waste. This puppy is made out of dog tags. This Nero looks tiny compared to this guy. But before we leave, all I wanted to do was pet the dog, but he's high up on this pedestal. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Good dog. I think I got some new followers on this uh, YouTube channel, by the way. I see you guys. So what do you guys think of the Nero? You guys want to test drive it? Come test drive the Nero, goose. All right, can you guys get out of the way so I can go home? I'm not trying to mess with you, okay? Well, that was fun. That was actually pretty cool. So I wasn't paying attention and I was driving in electric mode and I charged up the battery just for this trip, but I didn't want to use the electric motor yet. So I'm going to take this thing back to the studio. We're going to charge it up and then on to the next adventure. All right, we made it back to the studio. Denver traffic was terrible. But yeah, let's charge this thing up so we can go to our next location. First things first, we're going to need to get got our Eco Dynamics bag. Next thing we're going to want to do is open up this plug. Now we need some power. Grab your handy dandy Eco Dynamics bag. Open it up. You're gonna pull out your charger. Plug this baby in. Now you're gonna have this awesome readout. That is pretty cool. Then you're simply gonna connect this charging plug into the car. Now it says it's gonna be a lot of time to charge it, but the whole idea behind a hybrid vehicle it's not meant to commute from Longmont to Denver, from Denver to Fort Collins. It's intended to do in-town commutes. So you go home, you bring your car into your garage, you plug it into your station, then you need to go get groceries, go out, get groceries, come back, all electric. Save your gas, then plug it right back in, good to go. Right, another day we're back at the studio. We're all charged up, ready to go. Yep. Took about six hours. If you take it to like a charging station, it's gonna take a little bit less time. Let's see how far this thing can go electrically. Now to do that, so you're gonna go to your touchscreen display, you're gonna hit home, you're gonna hit this PHEV button, and you're gonna have all these options up here. This vehicle is really good about coaching you how to drive eco-friendly. You can look at your energy information and you can actually get a live feed on the screen to show you where the power is coming from, from the engine, from the electric motor, and if it's charging up the battery. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the EV range and see that 
giant green circle, that's how far you can go electrically. So we can go lots of places. This gives you your electric vehicle range. If you look in the bottom corner, it's gonna tell you how many miles you can go. So we can go 26 miles and within that radius, there are 254 charging stations. Now let's navigate ourselves. We're gonna go to Fort Collins, so you just go to place or address, type in what you need. Start guidance. The route guidance will start now. Awesome, our map guidance has been set. Now we're just going to hit the electric vehicle button. Make sure that we're in electric mode. See you there. Before I get out of the car, you guys are in for a treat because I just pulled into this place and it is weird. <laughs> But sticking with the theme of today's video, this is another example of a creative solution to avoid waste. Currently I'm at the Sweetsville Zoo, right off of the I-25 near Fort Collins. The Sweetsville Zoo has 150 sculptures ranging from aliens, spaceships, dinosaurs, and all of the sculptures are made by recycling waste, such as car parts, truck parts, tubing, farm equipment, and sheet metal. All of this was created by a guy named Bill Sweets. Just goes to show you how easy it is to waste things. People just look at the stuff as it's junk and throw it away. But there's value in everything, including the energy that you get rid of whenever you hit your brakes. Let's take a tour of this zoo. <laughs> I've only been here for two seconds and this place is awesome. Look at this thing. It's like a rocket motorcycle. That guy looks like Humpty Dumpty before he broke his crown. Oh. at the Kia Niro as a plug-in hybrid vehicle is its hybrid powertrain is phenomenal. You shouldn't look at any other hybrids, especially this guy. This is a spider car. It is not as fuel efficient as a Niro. I'm assuming it has to consume flies to get around. Don't get it. too windy I need to head back home hope you guys enjoyed the adventure if you're new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe if you have any questions about this 2018 Nero make sure to go talk to the car experts at i25 Kia and yeah I hope you guys have a good night see that tonight I'd like to take this moment to thank you guys for checking out my Lemons for Leukemia video. A little status update on that. We were trying to break the world record for the most amount of bone marrow registries in one day. The previous record was 3,000 and now 3,721. Thank you for sharing. If you sign up for the registry, I greatly appreciate it and so does Chris and everybody, but thanks for helping out their cause.